backlit, staring into the sun with the camera on my face. Feet are cold. I just got to get this over with. I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're going to learn something today. Hey folks, I'm still uh, out in California with Rotor Riot and we are super busy shooting episodes all day. And that means that uh, my video production has slowed down a tiny bit. But I'm going to make a quick video for you today because I got an awesome email that many of you are going to be very excited to hear about. It pertains to the, uh, the uh, Immersion RC Power Meter testing. You may remember that I said I was going to send that off to a volunteer who works in like an actual RF lab. Like he has a $20,000 RF isolated chamber and a $30,000 signal generator and he just does this stuff all day and he said, yeah, I'll take five minutes out of my day and test your thing for you. And he did test it and I got the results back. And I'm, I, you know what, guys, I would be super excited either way these results came out because what I'm mostly about is not proving any particular point, but in finding out the truth. And if we find out that it's not accurate, yeah, it's still good. It's still a good tool for just, you know, is your video transmitter fundamentally broken or is it basically working? But it turns out it's super accurate. <laughs> and that's even more exciting because when we have access to these tools at a reasonable price, means I can test more video transmitters. Yeah, so let me read you exactly what he said. Hey Josh, this thing is pretty dead nuts on. Within 0.1 dBm from 5600 megahertz all the way to 5800 megahertz, above 5800 megahertz there is some attenuation. About 0.2 dBm, that's like nothing, lower than the actual at 5800, and about 0.8 dBm lower than actual at 5900 megahertz, which is 0.8 dBm, 1 dB, it's almost 1 dB. That's not nothing, but in an $80 tool, it's freaking amazing. Yeah, he also says, I tested linearity as well at minus 1, 10, and 20 dBm. In other words, he tested how accurate, it may, maybe it's really accurate at one milliwatt, but as you get up to one watt, it becomes inaccurate. That's what he means by tested linearity. And he says that it is no issues at the ends of the normal 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. So, what does this mean for you? Number one, it means that you can go back to that video that I made, I'll link it in the video description, that video I made testing a couple of video transmitters and saying, well, they seem a little little underpowered, but I, I hedged that by saying, we don't know how accurate this thing is. Well, it turns out now we do, and it's freaking accurate. And it means I'm going to be testing a lot more video transmitters using the same methodology. In fact, I've got a test I'm getting ready to work on. The problem with the testing that we've done so far is that we're only testing one or two of these things. How much variation is there within a manufacturing batch? So I'm gonna get like five or 10 of these things uh, and test them. I already have five Mach 3s that were sent by Race Day Quads. Uh, and I hope to get Unified, Tramp, maybe a few others. It's a lot of freaking labor, so I don't know how many I'll be able to do. But now I know that I at least have the tool to do it, and so can you. If you wanna know, is my video transmitter, I don't have video, is it even transmitting? My range stinks. Is my video transmitter actually outputting the power that it says it does or the power that it used to do? There's so many uses for this tool and at a price of about 80 bucks, I think it's a really, well, you know, for some people, you know, you'd rather spend that 80 bucks on motors. I get it. But some of you are nerds like me who love having measuring tools and it turns out this one is way better than many of us would have hoped for the price. Link in the video description to my video transmitter test results, to my review of this video of this uh, power meter, talking about what it is and how to use it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in two days when I'm back home in Knoxville, finish shooting some epic episodes. I mean this. We've shot some crazy episodes. I think you guys are gonna love them over on the Rotor Riot channel. See you guys back in two days when I'll be on my normal schedule, back in my basement, making videos about wiring and stuff. Happy flying.